46 billion light years to get from the edge of the Earth to the uh, observable universe. And you can tell me there's nothing out there. Hi, my name is Yuya Suzuki. I'm here to talk to you about aliens. <laughs> so when you're little, you go outside, play with your friends, and then you like look up in the sky and you see something. And you're just like, first thing you think of, it's a UFO. It has to be. <laughs> or when you're like on the phone with your friend, like the line of the call is just like getting disconnected, and you just start hearing stuff, and you're just like, it's got to be aliens. Like it's got to. <laughs> like when you're young, like that's all you think about. That's what at least that's what I thought about. And since then, I've always been interested in aliens, and I'm here to tell you about what I know about them. So it goes all the way back to 1440 BC in ancient Egypt. Uh, so by the name of Tully Papirius, he was the first one to come out with the claim that he saw uh, fiery disks flying throughout the, the sky. And uh, since then, to this day, there's been around 430 cases with clear evidence of pictures and stuff. And um, this one up here, found in Sydney, Australia in 2015. This is a, the zoomed in picture, you can see that if you can see it's really like all these shape and it's not like a, some plane or something you see day in, day out. And this one down here is the most recent one in February 2018, which was found in uh, Area 51. Uh, the Air Force were flying two jets and they were testing out uh, the jets and then someone took a picture and then going, through, going back through it, they found this little dot right here that they can't explain what it is, it's unidentified. And since the year 2008, uh, there's been a total of 19 cases to this day, and 2014 was the most active with four clear cases. So now, Area 51. If you just look, it's just isolated in the desert of Nevada. No one has access to it, and it's a classified military base owned by the government. And Area 51 has a ton of conspiracy theories, and it, um, Area 51 was created for practicing like spy planes and uh, stealth jet jets to like test their runs and stuff and then but that quickly changed and going back to 1947 uh, this is William Brazil uh, so he was he owned a farm and one day he went out and he found uh, metallic silvery plastic like, objects on, in, in his yard he didn't know what it was so he went to go call the cops cops didn't say much they just said they're on their way but the cops didn't show up the military showed up with huge trucks, and they just took the objects without saying anything, put it in the back of the trucks, and they said they're taking it to Area 51, and that's when the secret was leaked. And that's when all the conspiracy theories started. And you can see images now, there's a ton of carriers and stuff that's just dis uh, disclosed to the public, and there's a lot of theories going around saying that there's probably like UFOs or just like objects that they found in recent times. And, but in December 2017, the Pentagon actually admitted that Area 51 has $22 million research going on, trying to research a lot more into aliens. And then lastly, uh, Buzz Aldrin, the, in the right corner, and his two astronauts, came out and claimed that they saw an L-shaped object when flying out in space. And they took this and they didn't think much of it, but they came out with an advanced lie detector, and they put him through it, and Buzz Aldrin passed, <coughs> and since then, uh, Apollo, the astronauts on Apollo 15 and the uh, astronauts on Apollo 14 also came out with claims. And uh, Cooper, one of the guy, uh, one of the astronauts in Apollo 14, he said that he saw a UFO or some sort of object when out in space. And uh, he, sorry, in 20, uh, and then Apollo, Apollo 14 said they were starting to chase the the object but they couldn't catch it and then what I see from this is these are the only guys that have been out in space and with their what they've seen with their eyes we can't we can't say no and we, we these are the most credible evidence we have so I just I just I'm here to tell you guys that I want you guys to open up your minds to new and crazy ideas as no matter how crazy something may sound uh, putting a little bit of effort into research can find us a new discovery that can change the whole world thank you